Okay, so uh, we're just going to do a, a brief explanation on VI. Um, one of the tools within Test uh, Program Studio is the VI. Uh, basically with VI what we have is a plot of uh, voltage against current. At the moment we have a horizontal green line which is a, a, an open circuit and if I was to short our reference, our, our signal down to the reference, I get a short circuit or a vertical line, um, maximum current flow. Um, what we're looking for with VI are three um, basic signature types. Um, if I had a diagonal um, line on, on my screen, that would represent it was a resistive um, type of signature. Um, if I had um, a horizontal line where it's not conducting, not conducting, it gets about 0 0.6, 0 0.7 of a volt, and we have almost short circuit, that represents um, something like a diode or a PN junction. Um, the third signature type is inductive or uh, capacitive, where we would see uh, an ellipse or a circle on the on the screen. When we're testing um, circuits or testing devices for VI, we're looking for a combination of those three signature types. Um, so, if I was to take this device here, so what I'm looking at here, I can see I have a, a PN junction. Um, and here we have some protection circuitry where I have two PN junctions, the two no nodes there and knees there, um, which is typical of a protection circuit. So if there was electrostatic damage, you'd actually see that on that trace? You would see, yes. If you saw electrostatic damage or if you had a, an empty device, then you'd have an open circuit or just a horizontal line. Um, what we can do is we can compare two signatures. Um, oops these two. Let's just borrow that for a second, I'll just do the reference to ground. Now we've got um, a source selection here, we can do what we've seen where I'm, I'm probing on the device, we can do a probe comparison and we can also look at individual clips and we can also do a clip comparison so I can, if I have a good device and a suspect device I can compare like for like. So I'll just do a clip comparison and I'll select my clip type. Okay. So I'm basically I'm looking at pin 1 and comparing the green one which is my good device here against the red one which is our suspect and it is faulty. Um, that's just on one voltage level, I can cycle through the different voltages so I've got all of the ranges available there which gives me more of a, 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 a sweep across the ranges so if there are any slight differences there they might show up at a lower voltage or at a higher voltage and as you select through each of those you can see where these are like for like um, but you can quite clearly see where the differences are. So something like this one where it's, um, it's actually conducting um, more on that second, that, that quarter, where it should be almost open circuit, that could indicate that we've actually taken some static damage, some static handling there is, um, is, is, is not correct. Okay, so it's almost like the, you can see it more here where you've got that leakage. We can go into a, a second mode, rather than looking at if you have a large device, um, 60 or 60 pins or um, 120 pins, it's going to take you time to go through each of those. Um, so we have a, a device compare mode where we can look at pin for pin and the auto VF function will select the best voltage and frequency so we can see the differences. Or there is a filter mode and uh, run that. It's now comparing all of the pins on, on both devices and where they differ, where they fall outside of the tolerance, it will only display the failing pins. So we have here five, five failing pins. We have two open circuits and we have what looks like leakage damage or static damage um, on, on the other three pins. Okay. Um, that in a nutshell is how the VI um, testing works.